Welcome back everyone to episode 19 in our devlog series. This week I've mostly been focused on getting the ranged combat in and just fixing up a couple bugs, so let's just get right into it. After partaking in Ludumdar 46, I decided to just take a small little break and just kind of re-energize myself in game dev before jumping back into Windshire. And once I did that, I really got into developing the rest of the movement systems and player redesign, trying to finish that up. And by next week, we should have everything finished up. And then a week after that, we should start the AI development. After taking this short break after Ludumdari, I jump right into making the ranged animation work with the new player model. I imported them into the engine and I started work on the actual implementation of this system. I had a couple of things I wanted to keep in mind. I wanted the animations to play smoothly and I wanted them to be a bit better than what we had last time with the transitions and stuff. One of the biggest things that made the range feel not as fun to play in my opinion was the way we had the animations transition from one to the other without a really good way of determining what to do that. So one of the animations I did find it was the pullback animation for the bow. It actually had the equip the arrow onto the bow or like position the arrow correctly already inside the pullback bow so we didn't really have to worry about that and I think that just made the animation feel so much better and more intact. The next thing I did find was a good release animation that we could use when you release the arrow from the bow and shoot the arrow in kind of a recovery phase for the player and it really worked well with the other animation. They kind of smoothly transitioned from one to the other and it looks fantastic now. With the removal of the slotting the arrow animation that we had previously, I, I think it really smooths out the whole ranged animation thing. And the last thing we do have to do is correctly place the arrow into the bow when you start pulling the bow back. And the other thing we do have to do is correctly set up the bow string so it pulls back the correct amount. Because at the moment, it pulls back a little too far compared to where the player arm is and it looks a bit weird, but that shouldn't be too much of a fix. After setting up the basic locomotion for the ranged attacks, I wanted to make sure the bow didn't break any of our other mechanics. The biggest one I was worried about was the crouch system that we put in place in the last devlog because this was kind of a newer system and I didn't really know all the consequences that would happen with inputting the system. When I was trying to aim the bow and I was moving around while crouched, a major bug appeared. The sequence of actions actually made the player's feet float up due to the bow pullback animation taking control of the root bone and them trying to fight between which position the root bone should be in. At the end of the day, the standing up pullback animation won that fight and it made the player's feet kind of hover above when you're crouched. So I didn't really know what to do and I talked with the other programmer and at the end I decided to make the player always stand up when priming the bow. This was the simplest fix because we couldn't find any animations of the player crouching and priming a bow. So we just said screw it and just kind of made it always stand up and then prime the bow. Which it works nicely and it doesn't break the flow of gameplay so it works as we expected it to. I also had the same issue with the blocking system. I didn't actually notice this when testing the sword and the shield but I kind of did the same thing and just made the player always stand up when he blocks. This shouldn't be that bad in game so hopefully you guys wouldn't notice but that's kind of why the player always stands up when he actually blocks or primes the bow. Last part of development this week actually was pretty short and sweet but really important. I decided to add back all the sound effects that occurred when you're walking around with the new animations for the ranged locomotion and also when you pull back the bow and shoot it. I just had to go in into the actual animation events and just type in a couple words and boom it worked like that. Pretty simple, pretty easy but it adds a lot to the gameplay especially since we had the sound effects already made. 
Before we conclude this devlog, we have a couple of special announcements to make. The first one is that we finally found an environmental artist. We were looking for one for about a week and we finally found a amazing low poly artist. His name is Perforator and he makes gorgeous looking low poly models and that's kind of the house you see in the background. He modeled that up in a couple days and it looks fantastic so I can't wait to see what he creates next. The other big announcement is that we have another programmer joining the team. His name is Carl. He recently messaged me about out joining the team and he seemed really enthusiastic to join so I kind of talked to him and I realized that he would be a perfect fit on the team. He will start taking on the new inventory system and shop and quest system that are coming up. We wanted to redo the inventory system because the inventory system is honestly a really big mess right now so him taking that on it should make it way better and more modular than what I did and it's going to create less code once we start making the shop and the quest system hopefully. That's all I really had to announce. Thank you guys for watching this devlog and if you did please hit that sub button and like and share this video with all your friends. In addition, if you're wanting to support the project financially, in the description there's a Patreon page and if you're not really into the whole subscription based idea, you can donate straight to the itch.io page for our project. All the money goes straight back into the project and it's not mandatory, it just helps us out wherever we can. So again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next devlog.